another common problem with iguanas is respiratory infections. Now you want to make sure that your iguana is kept at the right temperatures and humidity levels because this is important in maintaining respiratory health. An, a, an iguana with a respiratory infection will often have frothy saliva. Um, it'll just look a little listless, be a little, little more uh, calm than normal. Now an iguana can also cough and wheeze and hack and this is a definite sign of a respiratory problem. To correct the respiratory problem, you're going to want to evaluate your heating. Um, you want to make sure your temperatures are high enough, make sure they're not too high, make sure they have an a uh, area that they're able to escape to to get away from the heat. They need to be able to thermal regulate, so that's very important. And you also want to make sure that their diet is proper. If they do not have a proper diet, they can't produce the antibodies necessary to fight off the infection. So this is something that you want to make sure that you keep track of. An iguana with a respiratory infection can also have a discharge from the nose. This includes any clear um, or cloudy discharge from the nose. This definitely, definitely, uh, it's a good indication of a respiratory infection.